A force F has a magnitude of 40 newtons. Along a line from B equals 111 to C equals 246. Express F in Cartesian component form. To go in three dimensions from magnitude along a line to Cartesian form, there are three steps. One, find the position vector. Two, find the unit vector along that line. And three, multiply the magnitude of F times the unit vector along the line. To find the position vector from B to C, you want to take the Cartesian points of C and subtract the Cartesian points of B. So the position vector from B to C is 2 minus from, 2 minus 1 in the I direction, plus 4 minus 1 in the J direction, plus 6 minus 1 in the K direction. So your position vector looks like I plus 3J plus 5K. Once you have the position vector, you can find the unit vector. The unit vector along, UB, uh, along BC is the position vector along BC divided by the magnitude of the position vector along BC. So we need to find the magnitude. The magnitude of RBC is the square root of its component squared. So 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared which is 5.9161. Now, take the position vector and divide by divide each component by that magnitude. So you have 1 over 5.9161 in the i direction, plus 3 over 5.9161 in the j direction, plus 5 over 5.9161 in the k direction. That's the unit vector. If you multiply that out in your calculator, you get this vector for your unit vector. You can always double check at this point to make sure that that's indeed a unit vector. Square each piece and take the square root and make sure that you do in fact have something with magnitude 1. You don't want to multiply f by anything that has a greater magnitude than it started with. Once you have the unit vector, Multiply the magnitude of F, this is what you were given, times this unit vector. So F is 40 newtons times UBC, which is equal to 6.76i plus 20.3j plus 33.8k. Make sure you don't forget your units, three sig figs in a box, and you've answered the question.